Hey everybody, Jason here, and today we're going to be doing another retro review. Uh, so, the one that I've got today is actually... Donkey Kong Jungle Beat! Um, so the reason why I'm picking this one is it's a game that's been out for quite a while. Uh, yes, but mainly it's because it came with this crazy uh, bongo style uh, accessory. Uh, so, let me just read this box. It basically says, Get ready for a completely new gaming experience as you drum through an incredible jungle adventure with DK. Grab a set of DK bongos and use them to give Donkey Kong, or <laughs> use them to guide Donkey Kong through wild jungle environments brimming with ravenous enemies and bongo busting challenges. It says, <coughs> it says, uh, string together aerial combos to collect more bananas. The more you get, the more stages you'll unlock. Over 40 areas to unlock in all. Control is in the bongos. Hit the drums to make DK run, jump, do backflips, pound the ground, leap off walls, and much more. Uh, fight the fight to be the jungle king. Beat the drums for to pummel angry apes and wild warthogs and a slew of other foes. Uh, so basically, there you go. That's the back. Just the little blurb that I was reading, and it just has a nice picture of Donkey Kong with uh, I want to say some of the other bad monkeys. Um, so let's actually crack into this thing. <laughs> uh, so I picked this up uh, pre-owned. Um, actually, no, I bought this new, <laughs> and I bought it sometime in October of 2006. Oh God, has it really been out that long? Yep, it's been out since 2005. <laughs> oh God, yeah, this is like 10 years old now. Uh, but anyway, so on top we've got the game. And then, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing that I love about the GameCube games is just the fact uh, that I love their game cases. Um, I just, I like the way that they're set up and like organized and I, I love these tiny little discs. And yet, I know that they can't hold that much stuff, but dude, those games were legit. All right, and then inside here, I've got warranty information on the game, on the actual drums. Now this one is of course a one player game. Um, it didn't have a two player mode or anything like that. Um, and then here we have the actual bongos. So let me, let me just unwrap this real quick. So we can take a better look at the controller. I'm gonna to try to unwrap it in a way that doesn't entice my cat to attack the cable. All right, so here you have it. DK bongos. Um, they've got like a little DK and Nintendo symbol right here. There's a start pause button right here in the center. And then on the top, it's got a little microphone. And then you've got the left and right um, bongo drum. And basically the way that it works is, you know, to go right, you tap right, to go tap left, to go left, um, and then, that might have been really loud, uh, you clap to do certain moves too. Uh, you also pound both of them, I believe, to do other things, but uh, it's been a little while since I've played. Um, so I'm actually going to play a little bit of this. Um, I'm gonna go into the living room and set it up. I don't have a way to capture this uh, footage properly um, So I'll just be filming me and the TV in my living room playing uh, so you have to excuse that uh, But it's just it's just for fun and on top of that uh, <laughs> I've got one other little surprise here um, I've got Donkey Konga 2 uh, so this is another game that actually uses the uh, the bongo drums. This one actually enabled it for up to four players. And I do actually have four uh, bongos because when you can pick them up for like five bucks, why not? Because you never know, you never know how many bongos you need. Uh, but this one says, the beat is back. Um, obviously being a sequel. Uh, grab some friends and your DK bongos and drum along to a fresh new set of to a fresh set of all new chart topping tracks. Like, it's been a while. Wish you were here. You don't have to call with over. <laughs> oh god. With over 25 new hits from pop and hip hop to RB and dance, you'll never run out of ways to rock. 
It says, get funky with your friends in, f- in a four-player concert quartet or go head-to-head in the two-player battle mode. Discover all new ways to jam with the always unpredictable beat mix mode and challenge a friend to a versus mini games or check out share mode to see how well you sync up. Uh, but anyway, so not only are we going to play um, <laughs> Donkey uh, Kong Jungle Beat, but we're going to play a little bit of Donkey Kong 2. And again, you know, inside the game, you got a nice little disc um, that I almost just lost there for a second. But yeah, give me just a second to get into the living room, get everything all set up, and uh, we'll start checking this out. Bye bye for now. All right, we're here and we're set up. So I've got my bongo drums set up and connected to my Wii, and we're going to be playing this on uh, <laughs> the bongo. So let me just get this zoomed in just a little bit more. And I'll have to excuse the fact that the uh, table might shake uh, from being played, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to attempt uh, to limit that as much as I possibly can. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We don't have a memory card file, which is fine. It's, I probably lost that like a long time ago. <laughs> but so let's get started. So it wants me to clap. And we'll do a little bit of play like this um, with me just sort of watching the TV. And then I'll sort of show you exactly like how it works. Um, as I'm playing. <laughs> okay. That was just basically the intro. Uh, <laughs> you push left and right uh, to go in certain directions, and then you push both of them to jump. And while you're in the air, you can clap to uh, do a, a special attack, I believe. So let's do Banana Kingdom. TK's just chilling out. Oh, it, it recognizes my voice. So you can clap to get sort of like a little hint. You, know, you can also, uh... Okay, while you're in air, you can, you can ground pound to do, uh, you can ground pound while, uh, pushing both of them. To collect those bubbles, you have to, like, clap while you're in the midair, too. You have to clap to also join those. It sort of, like, keeps you on your toes a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get through this next little bit. Oh no. I sort of missed out. Oh, and we're right here. So let's get as many bananas as we can. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I got oh 256 out of 500. So it was like halfway there. <laughs> okay, so this is Jungle Deeps. I'm gonna kind of zoom out a little bit, and I'm gonna show me playing at the same time. Let's see if I can't get this to work. Pause it. Sorry, I'm just messing with the uh, the filming rig here. Uh, I need to angle down just a little bit more. But yeah, so let's do this. <laughs> so. So basically, just give you an idea of like what I do have to do. Oh. Oh, that's the path that I could have followed. Okay, there, there's wall jumping sections too, which you have to basically push both um, controllers. 
I don't know. It's it's a little bit confusing for me. It, it well, it definitely was for me at first. Um, but you know, as, as I got better with it, um, I got more used to like the control style. Um, so it's it's definitely different. Um, it's a unique uh, peripheral for sure. So I'm just I'm controlling my monkey in midair right now because <laughs> I'm being blown around by giant pairs of lips that blow air. <laughs> uh, left and right, left and right. That doesn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, the hardest part about this is actually just defeating enemies. Because there isn't, like, a, in my mind, a traditional sort of attack. Alright, so we're going to try to get bananas again. I only managed 45 that time. I'm going to pause this really quick while I change the game, and we're going to go back to uh, the TV, and we're going to watch a little bit of gameplay of uh, Donkey Konga 2. All right, so bear with me while I get the setup. I actually... Oh, okay, I, I sort of, like, understand what the total is now. Basically, it's talking about um, the total for all of the sections of this particular level. Uh, and in this case, uh, I've already beaten the total. I just, I'm currently uh, just on the third leg. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get everything positioned so that I'm all set to, and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys in just one moment. One important thing to always remember is hold the start button on your controller. Turn on progressive mode. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway. We're actually playing uh, Donkey Konga 2 now. Um, so this is, of course, a music rhythm based game. Um, this game, I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, I, don't, I didn't like it very much. Um, it, it was fun for what it was, and it's definitely more fun as a uh, multiplayer game. Because um, when you have a whole bunch of people doing the same thing, um, then you don't feel so weird. But playing it by yourself... Um, it's not exactly what I would consider uh, fun. So let's let's do concert and uh, why is there little kids? <laughs> oh no no! I I actually don't want to do concert. Let's do it's street performance. Sorry, it's been forever since I played this game. Uh, so let, let's amp it up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go to, yeah, let's just go Gorilla. If we're gonna do it, let's just go all out. Sorry, I'm just making sure that we can see everything. Wait, do I have nothing that I can actually play because I haven't played? <laughs> really? Okay. Okay, can I do, can I do Chimp? Okay. You know what? <laughs> Let's do... <laughs> no, no, no. What's this one? Yeah. This is it. <laughs> okay, so you have different sound effects you can use too. You've got bongo, NES, random. Let's just go random. Basically those appear like whenever you hit stuff. Okay, so you got red and yellow. It's also recognizing me talking um, for beats. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to talk.
I'm not doing very well. already hurt from playing this and I'm not even doing it that hard like I'm really not uh, but anyway I'm gonna get everything set back up in the uh, office and we're gonna talk about this a little bit I'll be right back anyway we're back in the office safe and sound away from actually having to play that song anymore um, so as you can see these games I mean they're fun um, the control style it's definitely different um, and while it actually works extremely well, to a point, um, I don't know if you noticed, but like in the beginning, like I went very quiet during the gameplay of uh, Donkey Konga. Uh, and that's just because like when I started talking at the beginning of the level, it was just registering everything that I was saying as claps. And like I was a good distance away from it. So obviously it's a very sensitive microphone. I mean, honestly, I could have just gone like, like that instead of having to do like an actual in front of the uh, microphone and I probably would have just, I would have been just fine. But uh, they're fun games. Um, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, I actually played like a really good portion of it because uh, I actually had a lot of fun with it. Eventually though, I had to stop because my hands just started hurting. Um, and it was mainly because as I was running back and forth, like the whole like moving back and forth, um, pushing both of them to do like a jump or to do a ground pound, that's not that hard. Um, but when you actually start doing, like, like working in all of the clapping that you have to do to attack enemies, to grab onto things, to pop balloons in the air, and to grab other, uh, bananas, it actually just, it starts hurting your hands. And, of course, if you do stuff like this all the time, your hands will get used to it. I mean, just like with, what, playing cal like, playing guitar, you get calluses and, you know, all sorts of stuff that, like, just happen with your hands to protect them against, like, normal everyday wear and tear, but this isn't normal everyday wear and tear. <laughs> um, it's fun though, like it's definitely interesting and Nintendo definitely likes doing um, different stuff like this and the fact that you know I can plug these into the Wii and play them there, I mean there really isn't much use for these as controllers anywhere else. Um, I'll have to see one of these days uh, about playing a game, like just a completely different game with these and see if I can actually do it. Uh, but yeah. That's gonna do it for right now. Um, let me know down below uh, what you think of the Donkey Kong Bongo controllers. Um, have you ever used them? Have you ever played them? Um, ha do you still have a set? And like I said, I've got four of them. Uh, I'm ready for some four-player Donkey Konga 2 action right now. Um, <laughs> let me know. Um, but uh, yeah. Just uh, also, you can subscribe down below as well. Let's me know, lets you guys know uh, when I'm posting new content. And also, don't forget to uh, hit the info card up here for another video in my series. Um, I think the only other one that I have filmed as of this time is uh, my um, my GameCube super uh, large controller with the keyboard inside of it, where I beat uh, what is it eight um, no seven computer play players set on level nine uh, in Smash Brothers. <laughs> First try, mind you. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye! Hey! The Empire wants you to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I want to see some hippie beatnik on the side of a street in some movie playing these. <laughs> like street busking while playing Donkey Konga. <laughs> Smash Mouth All Star, of course. Only. On Gorilla Mode. <laughs>